Today we're going to talk about the differences between these two black overshirts. One of them is from our legacy valued at 280 Canadian dollars and the other one is a Zara one valued at 80 Canadian. So obviously there's a big price difference between the two. So I wanted to put together some outfits for you guys today as well to see uh, which one looks better, to see which one you guys like as well. And then also let's talk about if these are worth it. So firstly, Our Legacy, it is a brand that is based out of Stockholm, Sweden. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the Our Legacy Camion Boots, uh, which has made its round through social media for a while now. So they put their own twist onto the timeless staples and they focus on the classic designs using high quality materials. In general, the pieces are priced pretty high, so it really depends on uh, what piece you're looking at um, some are going to be cheaper than others but in general they're priced um, at a high range so what i usually like about their designs is that usually they're quite relaxed and have a oversized fit now today the piece that we're going to be talking about is a black evening jacket at least that's what they call it but to me this does not look like a jacket it's more of an overshirt to me so this is made in Portugal and it is 100% cotton and they call it this uh, brushed cotton moleskin jacket. So this jacket has a straight cut with two flat pockets in front with exposed buttons and then the same buttons also down the middle of the jacket as well. So this one that I have today is a size 54 and extra extra large. Usually I probably would go for a large if I wanted the fit to be um, more fitted or I would go for an extra large usually uh, because I like a more relaxed and oversized fit. And mainly it's because if it really does shrink in the wash, I still have a little bit of room to play with if it's slightly oversized. So like you can see around the wrist area, there is a bit of room to play with. At first glance, when I looked at this jacket, I thought that it was gonna be, you know, quite thick material, but actually it's not really that thick. And so it's, kind of like a coarse stiff type of um, feel on top on the outside of the jacket and then on the inside it is a little bit soft now of course with this price point of 280 canadian dollars this is not cheap it is a high price point for this type of jacket or i like to call it an overshirt and so what i would do is i would put things like this onto a wish list and then i would keep an eye out on for the discounts and usually you can get these off like Essence forward and also Farfetch. It really depends on which country that you're buying it from, but places like Essence always go on sale, so just keep an eye out for that. Honestly speaking, for something like this at this price point, I would have expected thicker material. Um, this does just feel like any other 100% cotton uh, overshirt, which is why I'm not like super impressed with it. Although I do feel like this is super versatile, you can wear it in like many different occasions. You could wear it casually, or you could also uh, dress it up and make it look uh, pretty smart casual. Which brings me on to Zara, and I'm pretty sure we're all very familiar with what Zara is. It's basically the biggest fast fashion retailer in the world. And so what they do is they basically take the latest designs and then they make it into um, affordable pieces. I feel like you really need to take the time to find the right pieces that have the nice cuts and quality material to it because a lot of the stuff that they pump out is pretty bad. But recently they did come up with a line called Zara Origins and they are trying to put a little bit more emphasis on the material and the cuts onto uh, that line but for the price point that I've seen so far I'm not really wanting to spend that money for Zara and I feel like at that price point I'd probably just go for cost instead or just wait for the luxury brands to go on sale with the Zara piece they call it a pocket overshirt but for me it honestly looks more like a jacket than an overshirt so I feel like these two pieces should really switch their names around this one is made in Turkey from 58% cotton 40% polyester and 2% elastane. This jacket also has a straight cut as well with two flat pockets in front, but they have concealed buttons and then buttons down the middle, which is the same on both pieces. I'm wearing an XL for this jacket and it is probably usually the size that I would go for when I go for a Zara piece. Because this one does have elastane in it, so it's not as stiff and it has more of a stretchy feel to it. I feel like 
the shoulder structure is not that great. As you can see, my shoulder's kind of like pushing out of the jacket and uh, I'm not really a fan of that look. I like uh, to have a more structured kind of uh, shape around the shoulder. With this jacket, it does feel pretty soft inside and out. It's also not a very thick jacket either. And then with the price point of this at 80 Canadian dollars, which is, you know, it's not that bad, but you know, Zara always goes on sale. So I'm, I'm not, really a fan of buying Zara at its full price point because I just feel like it's not really worth it in the sense that the materials that they use and also just knowing that it's going to go on sale. But obviously if you need it and you really like it, go for it. I feel like you can't just wear it on its own though. I do feel like you need to layer something underneath uh, versus the Owl Legacy overshirt where I feel like that you could probably just wear it on its own. So now I'm gonna show you the outfits that I have for you today. Basically, I'm gonna use the same outfits except just change the overshirt or jacket uh, from the Owl Legacy one to the Zara one. And then you can kind of see uh, which one you like more and also how it just kind of fits with these outfits. For outfit number one, I feel like this is something that you really can't go wrong with, an all black outfit. Now for the base layers, we have a CK tank top and a Uniqlo pair of trousers. The trousers just sit really nicely on top of the boots and I love the relaxed fit of these. And then you have the Our Legacy evening jacket on top. Now, as you can see, it is slightly oversized. Um, actually, I think that the length is okay, but I feel like it is kind of oversized when you look at where it sits on my wrist. And now this outfit can be worn for dinner and also for you know lunch. Most occasions you could probably wear this. And then I just added a pair of sunnies on top. And then also um, I could just kind of like put it onto my head when I don't need to wear it. In terms of how the shirt fits with this outfit, I do feel like it fits pretty well. I think all in all, it still looks fine with this. I do wish that the sleeves were a little bit shorter here. Maybe it's because I did go for an extra, extra large. If I'd gone for an extra large, I guess the shoulder would also come up a little bit higher on here and then the sleeves wouldn't be as long as well. So for the Zara one, actually I feel like the length is very similar to the other one except the sleeve is not as wide and also not as long as the Our Legacy one. The material on here, uh, on the outside and on the inside is softer than the Our Legacy one. If you kind of move a little bit, the wrinkles will start coming out and that's definitely something that I don't really like. Maybe it's just the design of the jacket as well. I know it is slightly different from each other. I do like the Our Legacy one a little bit more uh, for this all black outfit. For outfit number two, we're gonna go for a very chill look, especially when fall is coming soon. So for the base layer for this outfit, we had the CK tank top, the Essentials sweatpants, and a Gildan black hoodie. I couldn't really decide between the Fear of God Converse's or the Yeezys, so I just kind of went with these ones. Um, I like how these sweatpants kind of sit on top of the converses so that's why i went for this instead the focus on today is obviously the overshirt and i think that this does fit really nicely with the whole entire outfit this is an outfit that you could wear to the supermarket to lunch and then uh, you got your sling here which you can hold all your essentials inside and then also I have the buttons open here, but if it gets colder, not that it's probably gonna help you very much if you are cold, you can uh, button up these buttons when you need to. So for outfit number two, I do feel like the overshirt from Our Legacy works really well with this outfit. So I'm really happy with how this look turned out. So this is outfit number two with the Zara overshirt on top. I don't think that the style kind of fits this outfit, I know that these two shirts aren't like exactly the same piece and material and all that, but it looks pretty similar to each other. 
but at the same time because the style is a little bit different and also the material it does actually make that much difference now again like i said about the material for the zara one and see how it just kind of crinkles when there's something underneath and also pushing out so you can kind of see the outline of my hoodie underneath now because i wanted to see the versatility of the two different pieces and how it can match with different styles and outfits this one i would probably not use this overshirt for this outfit so i definitely like how the our legacy overshirt goes with this outfit instead of the zara one Outfit number three for the base layer, we're gonna start off with the Cold War graphics t-shirt, the Zara Ouija cargo pants, and for the kicks, we are going with the Fear of Gods. The first glance with the Our Legacy shirt, I do feel like this fits very well. The oversized, relaxed nature of the Our Legacy shirt goes really well with this outfit because we're going for a super chill and relaxed look but i do feel like just in general so far the our legacy shirt is just more versatile for casual and also to uh, dress it up as well you know i always feel like this is why you need to buy the garment home and also try it on with all your outfits before you decide if you want to keep it or not because maybe the zara one just doesn't really fit what I have in my wardrobe or it's just that I don't really like this that much. Yes, there is a bit of a difference between this and also the Our Legacy overshirt, um, but I think in general, this just doesn't fit this outfit at all. So for outfit number three, um, Our Legacy also wins that as well. So for outfit number four, we have the Zara quarter zip the Zara trousers and the Our Legacy boots. So right now we have the Our Legacy overshirt on top. Now I don't feel like this works because of the material of the overshirt and it clashes with these pants. What I wanted to do for this was to have two smart outfits and two casual outfits and to see how it would match up together. And for this one, maybe if I swapped the pants or something else, if I wore the black pants, it would look better. But this particular outfit, I would say no to the Our Legacy overshirt. So we have the Zara one on and I feel like this one definitely matches this vibe a little bit more. Still not a very big fan of this, but I do feel like it does match uh, a lot more than the Our Legacy one. I feel like maybe it's just because of the style of this outfit and also the materials just work a little bit better. I feel like maybe the cotton on the Our Legacy contrasts a little bit too harshly on these pants. so. I do feel like this looks better, um, but still not like a really big fan of this. Um, so Zara does win this one though. So after comparing all these outfits and different styles, I want to say that it really depends on the style of your wardrobe and what type of style that you like wearing because these two overshirts, it kind of depends on what you already have in your wardrobe or what style that you're really looking to go for. Now for me, I think that the Our Legacy one works with my wardrobe a little bit more. But when I look at the price point, I'm not really sure that it really is that much better and it really elevates my wardrobe that much. But there is a lot of versatility and uh, what I really like to do for my wardrobe is to have all my pieces be able to kind of mix and match with each other. So that, it kind of ticks that criteria. Obviously it depends on your budget and what you're willing to pay. And because that comes down to how many times you can actually wear that piece um, versus the price that you're actually paying. Because the more times you're able to wear a piece, the price per wear comes down versus a piece that you buy and you don't really wear much because it doesn't work with any of your other pieces. I think that's the major kind of take away from all of this. So thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you haven't already, please go check out my other videos to do with fashion outfits and ideas and also travel as well. Like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one.